Hello, my name is Blake Laurie, and I'm one of the many co-authors that worked on a broad and collaborative research project to characterize mountain goat pathogen communities across native and restored populations in the greater Yellowstone area and southeast Alaska. Although historically mountain goats have realized broad range expansion through translocation, many mountain goat populations have shown signs of recent decline. Because of their rugged habitat niche, they are difficult to study and there is little known about resident pathogen communities. Recently, however, researchers documented mortalities of both adults and kids in a Nevada mountain goat population that were attributed to pneumonia. This finding demonstrates the susceptibility of mountain goats to pneumonia pathogens typically associated with bighorn sheep epizootics. As an initial step to regionally characterize mountain goat resident pathogen communities, we sampled a total of 98 individuals across four study regions in Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, and Alaska. We focused on the presence of Pastorellaceae organisms, specifically leukotoxigenic and beta-hemolytic Biebersteinia treolosi and Mannheimia hemolytica, as well as Pastorella multacida, all of which were sampled from tonsil swabs. We used nasal swabs to sample for mycoplasma ovin ammonia and assessed the presence of pathogens using a combination of PCR and culture techniques. If we look at the results across the four study regions using pie charts to show positive detections, we can see that Biebersteinia treolosi was detected in all regions within the GYA. Mycoplasma ovin ammonia and Mannheimia hemolytica were detected in the northeast and southwest GYA and the southwest GYA was the only region where we detected Pastorella multacida. In contrast to the GYA, Mannheimia hemolytica was the only pathogen detected in southeast Alaska. Our results highlight the relatively diverse pathogen communities hosted by mountain goats within the GYA. With a number of mountain goat populations in decline regionally, respiratory disease may act as an important yet previously underappreciated cause of mortality. Moreover, because of the strong niche overlap of bighorn sheep and mountain goats, characterizing their respective resident pathogen communities should be an important prerequisite to establishing new sympatric populations and can contribute to understanding the potential for interspecific transmission on existing sympatric ranges. Thanks for watching and please check out the Greater Yellowstone Area Mountain Ungulate Project for more details and related research. Mm.